stop it. No, thank you. I stopped myself. Oh my god, I feel you very proud. You are very cute. I was <laughs> oh, like, that's you. adorable. <laughs> so is this? I heard this is your first talk show. This is my first talk show. That's like so crazy to me. So what are you? Were you nervous about this? I did, I remember the first time I ever did a talk show. I was kind of nervous. Yes. Uh, my hands are so sweaty right now. I have a little sweat rag with me. You uh, have, wait, what? Well, okay, I will say it's not nerves, it's excitement. I'm just really excited. Okay, me to too. I get excited too. Yeah. yeah. So wait, I didn't know that you were the voice of Antiques oh, Roadshow. God. I found this out and I was like, wait, what? I know, I, I, it's like a hit, well, it's not a hidden secret anymore, but it was a hidden secret. Yeah. I, I, I love it so much. It's such a gift that I get to do it. Um, yeah, it's the best What's show like ever. your voice for that? Like, do you have to sound astute? Do you mm -hmm. have to sound, I don't know, what is the voice? You think for? because most people fall asleep to it that it's very calming. Oh, um, I can't fall asleep to it. I love antiques. Yeah, so imagine this voice, but with like five shots of espresso. Yeah. That's what you're listening to. Welcome yeah. to Antiques Roadshow on today's episode. That's me. Oh, Peppy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ah. We're excited about antiques. Yes. Yes, yes. They yes. always, yeah. yeah. We are excited. <laughs> We're excited about antiques. I, I, are you into antiques? I, well, okay, it's funny, I, I never really understood antiques until, until I started doing the show. Oh, yeah. And I just, I, I grew a, a appreciation for age on things and, and yeah. how time makes something more precious. I mean, mm -hmm. the fact that it went to several people before it got to you, yeah. it, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, so, the yeah. story. The behind. story, exactly, yeah. yeah. That's what makes it valuable. I love it. I'm obsessed with my thing that I do everywhere is I look for antique pocket watches. <gasps> I think they're so cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a watch lover. The me show too. has made me a watch lover. Yeah. And I have, I have a watch from 1959 and I have a watch from 1970. Wow. That I love so much, I care for. It's so funny, because yeah. I'm obsessed with them too, my pocket watches specifically, like with the cool chain, like yeah. old school, but oh, like, yeah. but I, and even if they have engravings on it, I think it's cool, because I I don't know why I just collect them. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I don't know, <laughs> but I, and I also don't like to know the time, because I yes. feel like we're all like on a schedule. I don't even like to know the time, but I am obsessed with a pocket watch. Well, that's the thing about watches, is that I like, it, there's a sense of like, power you yeah, gain you, when you put yeah. a watch on. Yeah. You know, that you just like, I always know what time it is. And it's know? so cool. <laughs> they just look cool to me. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. I'm weird. Um, you are, I'm with you. Okay, the weird, <laughs> weird people are ruling the planet. Um, well, explain the show, you know, for all mankind. Explain to everybody what's going on that. So for This is all, the finale coming up, right? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. So season four finale. Yeah. So for all mankind is an alternate history um, about uh, what would happen if we lost the space race, if the Soviets landed on the moon first. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's a hopeful, optimistic show about what if the space race continued. And so in season four, it jumps 10 years between each season. So in season four, I play a 42-year-old mom with two kids, oh a 16-year-old son who's taller than me, who, well, that's not hard, but yes. Yeah. Uh, We're so, both yeah. not tall. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah and, it's and, and, I, I love it. It's, it's, uh, I'm so grateful to be on it. Yeah. That's so cool, like yeah. the jumping around of the different decades. Mm -hmm. that, it breaks up the monotony of like, you know, just coming and doing the same oh, yeah. thing every day for acting. What is it, I'm sure you had to research all the decades. What was like one of your favorites? Um, well, I joined the show in, when it was the 80s. Okay. Um, so now we're in 2003 on the show. I mean, my favorite part about it, honestly, was in playing a 40-year-old woman. Yeah. I interviewed a lot of women and asked them to reflect on their 40s. Yeah. And it was, I had a teacher who I t spoke to um, at NYU, and I asked her, tell me about your 40s. What, what did you like about it? And she said, you know, I feel like for men, for boys, coming of age is teen years, 20s, but for women, it's your 40s. I agree. Women, if for your 40s are when you start to feel like, you know what, I'm good at what I do. You and I love, empowered. yeah, you feel really empowered mm -hmm. and you feel um, your best, and so. Yeah, and you start to really recognize your worth. Yeah. And like, and maybe others that don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You start to really prioritize that. Yeah. I, think that, I am 41, so I, you could have interviewed me. <laughs> um, but I, I just mean, it's a beautiful time. I think everybody always, um, you know, when you're like 10, you're like, oh, 40, you're almost dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you're 10, you're like, you're so old. But no, I feel um, life gets better with age, and 40s have been wonderful thus far. So that's cool that you get to play, like, yeah. dive into a, a character like that. That's yeah. fun. Well, uh, we have to take another short break, everybody, but be sure to check out the fourth season of For All Mankind on Apple TV+. Plus.